This voice registry podcast is brought to you by voicebank.net. Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy Patton, and I am here at Compost Productions in North Hollywood, California, with the one and only voiceover doctor, Dr. Bill Holmes. Hello, doctor. Hello, Tracy. Good to see you again. You may put your pants on now. Thank you so much. He's such a thorough doctor. Anyway, we have Bill Holmes. Bill Holmes. We have Bill Holmes is here. Yeah. And right we also here. have, you know, it's the Bill thing that I get confused oh, with. Oh, you get a little confused yeah. with. We also <laughs> so have another we have Bill another here. another Bill. Two Bills are better than one. There you go. Take two, Take two got... Bills and call me in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, We've got so um, Bill Miltenberger, who was a student from before and is back again. And we're going to hear from you and hear what's going on with your career. Welcome back. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. So I take my pants off now or now? <laughs> That's no, a, you okay. actually leave your the, pants I, on. I, okay, yeah. I get yeah. it now. No, it's I only am, the girls. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So tell us, Bill, okay, a while ago, not too long ago, you were here working with Dr. Bill. Yes, I was very, very happy to get an appointment with the voiceover doctor. Yeah, and it and was great that he could squeeze me in. Perfect. And so what have you done since then? Because I know you're trying to build your voiceover career. Well, just in in like picking people's brains that are in the voiceover community it seems like and and you two have mentioned this too that taking some kind of an improv class would be a good way just yeah. to kind of develop your voiceover skills so i'm planning to take um the lovely and talented bill applebaum's class right here oh good in the compost yet again another bill <laughs> another and, uh, bill just to make sure that we have nothing but bills associated with my my uh, Your career. voiceover career. There you go. There's a little but theme it's going. located right here in the compost production facility, right down the hall. So we like to call it Compost HQ. <laughs> compost <laughs> HQ. So, so you're going to do that next. Just jump in the golf, golf cart and just drive down to his uh, his workshop. Perfect. It's it's good. It's efficient in these times when gas prices are high. You can just absolutely. Walk down it's the, always the hall. you know that's a concern. So since you were here last, what have you done? Actually, I, I had an interesting experience. I went to the New Media um, Expo in Las Vegas, and it was interesting because when you traditionally think of, or when lots of people think of voiceover, they're thinking like doing a commercial or doing a, you know, something on the radio. But there's a lot, a lot of opportunities that are kind of popping up in the new media space. So okay. I saw all kinds of different types of podcasts and seminars on that. So I'm right. glad to say that I actually saw and enjoyed um, some speakers who were talking about their podcast on knitting. Okay, good. That could help your voiceover career. That really, and you I started I started knitting actually after uh, after I saw the seminar. And I know just before we're gonna you're gonna jump in, Doctor Doctor Bill, the voiceover doctor is gonna jump in. But you were practicing. Did you just say you were doing some? Yeah, you know what? I bought. Um, I think it's a, a snowflake microphone for my. I have a Macintosh system, so I bought it for that, and just started kind of flipping through magazines and looking at at ads and. Just reading copy for – you seem to get the best copy on some of the uh, the car ads um, and just travel ads and things like okay, that. Great. So Well, we look forward to following your career, following the, the expansion of your career. And... Well, I look forward to you following my career. Okay. And on that note, Dr. Bill, it's all Eight yours. Eight cc's of sailing. Clear. <laughs> koosh, koosh. Okay. Sorry. I had to revive somebody <laughs> in the back there. They uh, they tripped and fell against that electric golf cart you were talking about. <laughs> All right, so what we've done here, Bill, is uh, we just tore and again for the listeners out there, we just tore a mag- magazine ad out of a Newsweek magazine. This one happens to be for Sitco. Uh, we didn't give it a lot of thought. We didn't really look for the perfect type of spot. We just looked for one where you'd be kind of casual, conversational, and so we'll go along those lines. Uh, Bill, you've had the opportunity to just kind of read it over and make some choices, correct? Right. So uh, why don't we just do one, and then I'll just direct you from there. Okay, Okay, terrific. All right, uh, here we go. We come together to support the local team. Every Sitco station is locally owned and independently operated, and together, Sitco and its network of 8,000 retail stations employ more than 60,000 Americans. Each of these jobs benefits local families and helps neighborhood businesses and communities to thrive. It's just one more way the people of Sitco are there for you at every turn. Sitco. Okay, good. So, um, what did you? How did that feel to you? It felt pretty, pretty natural. I mean, it felt natural. So, 
Um, you know, it felt pretty good. Didn't feel too forced. Okay, I'm just adjusting the mic there a little. Um, let Let's just kind of go through the thought process for everybody. Uh, who Who were you talking to in your head? Who did you choose? I was talking to actually my my next door neighbor, Lon. Lon. Okay. And it was just a, Tracy's laughing because she knows Lon. Um, it was. Uh, just kind of like a casual over coffee, sitting at her kitchen table kind of conversation. Okay, about what? Just about like stuff that's going on in the neighborhood. Like what? Like. Did you choose a specific thing? I didn't really choose a specific thing, so I should have something right next to you. Okay, so I should. No need to I didn't didn't choose a super specific thing. More like a just a situation. So. Well, again, you've got specific choices are always going to be your stronger choices. Okay. Correct. Okay, so let's make it more specific and see if the read comes in a little okay. more comfortable, a little more believable. Okay? Okay. Because it seemed like you were kind of talking at her a little more than you were just chit-chatting with her. Okay. Now, uh, your friend Lon, uh, woman, right? Yes. Okay, your friend Lon, uh, she uh, was in, in your head. Was she reacting to you? Um, Not really okay <laughs> so. so let's and the reason she wasn't reacting to you is because you had made a general choice mm -hmm. okay but if you're talking about something specific in the neighborhood that the two of you care about that sure. is similar to what the clues are in the script okay then chances are she's going to be reacting right and how is she going to react almost always in advertising she's going to just give me in advertising, she's almost always going to react positively. Right. Sure. She agrees with you. Sure. She totally thinks that you guys are on the right track okay. with whatever conversation you're having. Okay. Because it's advertising. We don't want to be talking people into something. Right. We don't want to have to force them to see our view. Sure. We just want to chit chat with them. Why? Because that's what the clues in the script are. Got it. Okay. So with that in mind, make a more specific choice and let's do a take two. Okay. We come together to support the local team, and every Sitco station is locally owned and independently operated. And together, Sitco and its... Let, let me interrupt just for a second. Sure. Is, is she reacting to you now? I, yeah, I, she was kind of reacting after, you know, after every Sitco station is locally owned and independently operated, kind of felt some kind of reaction there. Like, okay, oh, how yeah, did she it react? is. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Right. right. Okay, Interesting. Great. And then you had another thought because you have a uh, – the listeners can't see it, but uh, in the copy, they started a sentence with a conjunction, the right. word and. Right. And usually if we see a conjunction starting the sentence, that means what to an actor? Uh, it just means that, you know, it's like a follow-up sentence. It's something that you're – it's like an after – not yeah. an afterthought. Oh, but like a, oh, oh yeah, you know, I, I, exactly. I have something else that's going exactly. on here too. So again, and that's based upon – the reaction that she gave you, though. Okay, from great. From the acting point of view. Sure. Okay? So when you get to this, every Sitco station is locally owned and independently operated. Oh, and by the way, together, you know, it's right. like kind of a feeling. Right. You know, all right? Because that's a statement. Right. It's not a continuation. Got it. Okay? So again, Lon is right there, right next to you, right? Okay. I mean, how close is she to you? She's basically just sitting, you know, right across from me at a small little table. You know what? Like a kitchen table. Slide her around to right next to you. Okay. Do I have to? No, yeah, I'm looking. Try it. Yeah. Um, okay. Why does she have an odor? <laughs> a particular no, odor? Because no. there's pills for that, and I am Ma, a doctor. I love you. I'm so. just kidding. Yeah, okay. see where you're at right now, though? <laughs> see, this is Bill right here. Right. Oh, yeah, right. I love you. I'm just kidding. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's you talking. Okay. You see what I mean? Got it. Do that. Okay. We come together to support the local team. And every Sitco station is locally owned and independently operated. And together, Sitco and its network of 8,000 retail stations employ more than 60,000 Americans. Now, each of these jobs benefits local families and helps neighborhood businesses and communities to thrive. It's just one more way the people of Sitco are there for you at every turn. Sitco. Okay, good. That felt a little more comfortable. Yeah, but voiceover doctor might yell at me because I added a little word. Added a conjunction. I know. Is you that combined okay? the two sentences, yeah. which kind of made it not make sense, right? Okay. All right. Again, I'm not going to yell at you because 
and we do that. You know, okay. you're trying to make it comfortable. You're trying to make it more for you. Right. So, you know, again, as I said last week with Margaret, we got nothing but digital here. We can fix that later sure. with another take. Okay. Did that feel more comfortable to yeah, you? Yeah, it did. It felt, it felt more like natural, Because it's all loose. about how it feels, not necessarily how it sounds. Right. Okay. Because okay. you can't listen to yourself while you're doing it. Right. So you got to know what it feels like. That's why right. after every take, I, li- I look at you and I go, man, eh, how'd that feel? Right. How'd that feel? If right. it felt comfortable, then chances are it's probably a nice, comfortable read. Sure. But if it feels a little stiff and and tight, then chances are you're not thinking about mm-hmm. the pictures in your head. This has been part one of this week's VoiceOver Doctor episode. Join us next time for part two. This voice registry podcast was brought to you by voicebank.net. 